good uh, afternoon and assalamualaikum to everyone. So, um, my group member for today will be presenting a case study named for Crocs Incorporation. So, first of all, let's introduce ourselves. So, my name is Nur Nazira Bin Aziz. My name is Nur Fikir Muda Bin Dazari. Um, my name is Nur Elena Shafika Bin Dioski. And my name is Nur Anisha Bin Tumasawfi. I will uh, presenting about their introduction. Now I will uh, presenting about their introduction and the background of uh, Crocs Incorporation. Uh, Crocs started in two thousand two and was founded by friends, uh, which are uh, Scott Simmons, Lyndon Duke Hansen, and Josh Bordicke. Uh, they had purchased uh, this. Uh, uh, design of crops or uh, clock style uh, by a company in uh, Canada to manufacture and distribute uh, the shoes. Uh, the headquarter of crops is in Nibot, Colorado, and uh, it uh, manufactured in uh, Mexico, China, um, Romania, Bosnia, Italy, and Herzegovina with more than 4,100 employees. Then, uh, these uh, products of Crocs shoes was produced and designed for comfortable shoes. Uh, and Crocs shoes are casual footwear for men, women, and children. The material used is from Cross Light, which are uh, lightweight, soft material. Um, waterproof and odor resistant qualities. The shoes have variety of styles and have more than 20 colors which are have uh, in kinds of boots, uh, sneakers, uh, golf shoes, uh, sandals and most. Then um, uh, Crocs has been distributed in many kinds of ways in more than 90 countries which are uh, in outlets, retail stores, um, kiosks and web stores. In 2012, Crocs sold more than 200 million pairs of shoes and gain revenue of more than $1 billion. I will ask, uh, explain about the mission of Crocs. They have two kinds of uh, mission statements separated on Crocs Incorporation and Ocean Minded Crocs. For Crocs Incorporation, the mission statement is to bring profile, comfort, fun, and innovation to the work speed, and for Ocean Minded Crocs to become the global leader in sustainable lifestyle footwear apparel and accessory, ensuring that the, the four pillars of Ocean Minded Brands, quality, uh, authenticity, responsibility and community resonate to our, our company products, associates and actions. Uh, so at Crocs, they take uh, fun as serious uh, matters as they take uh, this uh, their mission to make the world uh, uh, must have comfortable shoes. Uh, next is for vision. Uh, next for vision, they also have two kinds separated uh, vision which on uh, for Crocs Incorporation and Crocs Play Center. Uh, for Crocs Incorporation to produce the most comfortable shoes in the world, uh, they aim for everyone uh, must have comfortable shoes. Uh, then uh, for Crocs Play Center, we are dedicated to provide a safe a spotlessly clean and friendly environment for children and parents to relax and enjoy. We aim to provide exceptional customer service and value for money. So for this uh, uh, play center, they focus on uh, uh, shoes made for children and parents uh, in order to ensure their comfort with the shoe they wear in daily life. Uh, let uh, proceed to input stage. In the input stage, they have, they, they have uh, three uh, metrics which is uh, internal, external and competitive profile metric <coughs> in uh, to, to, to evaluate the input stage in the Crocs company. For the, for the first 
metric which is uh, internal uh, factor evolution uh, metric it is uh, commonly used to for assess the current business condition uh, the efe metric uh, is a great tool to visualize and prioritize the opportunities and attract that uh, faced by the company the efe metric is a uh, very simil similar to the ife metric the uh, external factor which is uh, assessed in the EFE metric are the ones that are subjected to the will of social, economic, political, legal and uh, other current or other external cost which is uh, involved in the company. Okay, for the, uh, for the example of the uh, political factors, external factors uh, like the antitrust law, taxation law and labor training law which is affect the political uh, which is affect the company performance uh, secondly is uh, uh, relating to the relating to the uh, economic segment it is uh, involved of uh, inflation rate, uh, rates interest rate budget deficit or surplus it is also uh, affect the economic or uh, external factors then uh, for the it also comprises of uh, demographic factors demographic the example of demographic factors is um, uh, population size uh, age structure uh, ethics mixture and uh, income distribution so let's discuss the step to conduct the efe metric the first step to uh, conduct and construct the EFE metric it involves the least factor this means that uh, the company need to uh, gather a list of external factor and uh, divide the factor into the two group which are opportunities and the trade of the uh, India company uh, after they uh, list the factors which uh, affect the, the uh, companies they need to assign the weights for each factors. The value of uh, each weight should be between 0 and 1. And uh, 0 and 1 and or alternatively between 10 and 100 if you use the uh, 100 scale. Then uh, for the zero value, it means the factor is uh, not important and uh, 1 or 100 means the factor is most influenced and critical one then uh, after uh, uh, assign the weight then it total up all, all the weight and the total of the weight um, should equal to 1 or if the company use the 100 scale it need to be uh, 100 value then uh, the step number three, uh, the company need to rate, uh, rate the factors process. No, no, uh, rate the factors. Uh, the company need to assign and rating to each factor. Rating should be between one and four. One means the response is poor. Two convey, uh, convey the response is below the average. Three define the re response above uh, average and four means the superior the way our industry specify and rating are common, uh, company specific uh, after the rate factor process the company need to uh, multiply weight by the rating step uh, the company need to multi multiply each factor weight uh, with its rating and calculate the weight score for each factor the last step is a uh, total all the weight score. It, uh, it is uh, the process when the company need to total all the weight score by add all the weight score for each factor. This will calculate the total weight score for the company. Uh, it is the uh, EFE metric for the Crocs company. Uh, uh, you can see the Crocs uh, list the opportunities uh, and uh, check for their company the exam some examples
example of the opportunities which is list by the crops is uh, like uh, many crops uh, many crops uh, do not they are, they are crop, uh, crop users income uh, more expensive uh, the products of uh, crop is more expensive than the distribution income of uh, the region then uh, the kids also uh, enjoy the comfort crops so it is uh, the opportunities of the crops company then uh, you can also see the uh, nurse also nurse and construction uh, workers also can use the crops uh, product uh, for the traits of uh, the crops company uh, as uh, list uh, as the crops company list for example that uh, they are made a various uh, famous brand other than, than crops like uh, which produce which produce the same product like them like uh, Nike uh, Adidas which is uh, when to uh, compete with them then uh, the 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 the, the, the products which need to Okay, uh, the EFE uh, score for the uh, crops company is uh, 2.63 and uh, it means that the crop needs to, and no, uh, crops have a room for improvement then the only rating of four deal with the healthcare industry and uh, many factors of uh, uh, opportunities and traits of the crops company rating uh, of three we show that uh, factor it is above the average and no ratings uh, one means that the crop is good also, uh, also good companies let's move to the internal factors evolution or uh, IFE metric the internal factor evolution metric is a strategic management tool for audit and evaluate the key strengths and weakness of the business functional area IFE metric also provide the basis for identifying and evaluating the relationship between the region uh, it is can be used to evaluate how the company perform in terms of it identify internal strength and their weaknesses it also uh, relate to the balance scorecard method with several respects so, the step to construct the IFE metric uh, the step one is the company need to list strength and the weaknesses of the key internal factor. This means that the uh, company can conduct internal audit and identify both strength and weakness in their business area. The company also need to identify the factor but uh, it is suggested to the company to provide the more uh, factors uh, for the IIT metric, it is better. Then uh, the number of factor has no effect on the range of the total weight score because the weights always sums to 1.0. The second step is the company need to uh, assign a weight, which is uh, the company need to range from zero to one to each factor. The zero value means not important and one indicate very important. After assign the weight to individual factor, the company need to make sure that the sum of all weight equal to one. Uh, if the company use uh, 100 uh, scale, it is need to be equal to 100. The step three is uh, the company need to assign one to four rating to each factor. Practitioners usually use ratings on the scale from 1 to 4. The factor represent 1 means weakness, second is um, also minor weakness. Uh, it means it also uh, same for 3 and 4 rating. But if use the rating 1 to 4, the strength must receive 
four or three and witness must receive to one or two then uh, the second uh, first step is the company uh, the company to multiply each factor weight uh, by its rating the last step is uh, sum the weight score it means that the company needs to provide the total weight score for the business Okay, for the IFE metric, for the Crocs company, you can see uh, the company uh, identify the strengths and the weaknesses for the company. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the output of, from the IFE metric is Crocs is doing, doing an excellent mm -hmm. job managing their internal issue. The most glaring weakness is the... Uh, Clunky design for the traditional crop shoes We put uh, many people off to the crops altogether uh, With the crop new lines uh, of their product Using the cross light technology uh, Maybe the weaknesses of uh, which uh, List by the company can be overcome okay, For the uh, competitive profile metric uh, to better understanding the uh, external environment and the competition in the particular uh, industry, the metric identifies a firm key competitors and compare uh, the key uh, competitors with uh, using their industry critical success factor. The company need to review their strengths and weakness against its competitor so they can know what the areas that they can be improved okay i raise the step to construct the cpm the first step is the company need to identify the critical success factor uh, which is i have possible level of excellence if the organization want to succeed, succeed in the particular industry The key area must be performed at the highest possible level of excellence If the organization want to succeed in the particular industry The second step is uh, the company need to uh, assign the weight and rating it Each critical success factor should be assigned a uh, weight rating from 0 which is low importance to 1 which is high importance the, then they need to sum all of the weight and it must to be equal 1 equal to 1 uh, the, the weight should be assigned to each factor uh, to compare the best and the worst performing companies in the industry the third step is uh, the company need to compare the score and take an action the company should compare the score of each factor and they need to identify uh, the area that uh, they need to uh, strength and the weaknesses that they need to overcome so uh, it is the uh, example of the competitive profile metric for the crops company uh, you can see that the company uh, lists the competitors which is uh, have a tendency to compete in the uh, industry for example the crops uh, stay the neck and curves the crop does not compare well with the neck and the curve because the company is so much smaller and offer a limited rise of the product so uh, maybe the, the crops has a unique comfortable product which is not offered by night and becomes so the total score of uh, crocs is uh, 2.75 smaller than nickel which score 3.34 and night 3.5 now so uh, the cpm metric shown that the crocs is weak compared to the competitors in the market industry which is their part they have many key areas that should be improved by the crocs company so uh, in the uh, matching stage, I will explain about the SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is a collection of uh, 
the company's strength and uh, strength weaknesses, opportunities and uh, trade. The main objective of the uh, SWOT analysis is to help the organization to uh, develop awareness of all the factors which is uh, involved when they're making a business decision. This can help the company to uh, overcome their challenge and uh, determine uh, the new opportunities to their company. This positive and negative element can help the company to be more e effectively communicate what parts that uh, uh, need to be uh, recognized. Okay, uh, that uh, is the step to conduct the SWOT analysis. Uh, the first is uh, the company need to create a table uh, split into four columns which is uh, list uh, each impacting element side by side for the comparison. Uh, the first column, uh, it is involved the strength and weaknesses, which is a type, uh, typically match list opportunities and trade. They should uh, correlate since they are ultimately tied together. So this is the example of the SWOT analysis of the Crocs company. Uh, the first column, the uh, crops uh, list their strengths. Second, uh, below the strengths, they list the weaknesses for the crops company. Then, uh, beside the column, they uh, list the opportunities and traits of their companies. So, so you can see uh, the strengths, uh, so you can see the detail of uh, more more detail about the strength, opportunity, weakness and trait when you went to make the decision for the improvement of the company. So the space of the space metric. Space metric are uh, named the strategic position and action evaluation metric. Uh, short name is space metric. Uh, in the space metric, uh, it is used to uh, analyze the company's uh, formulation strategy. Uh, and then in this metric, we have four columns framework, which is in the um, space metric, we, uh, we um, um, divide into two major dimensions, which is the internal dimension, which consists of the financial position and also the competitive uh, position. Well, for the second dimension is the external dimension, consists of the industry position and also the stability position. Um, and the space metric will have four quadrants, which is aggressive, conservative, defensive, and also um, com uh, competitive strategy. Um, for the financial position, it is regarding to the company's accounting, for example, for the leverage uh, or return on investment and other. Well, for the competitive position, it is about the attribution of the company uh, that allow the company uh, to uh, outperform its competitors, for example, the product life cycle, uh, the customer loyalty. Uh, well, for the industry position, uh, it is about uh, the positioning, uh, the position of their firm uh, in the sector to secure the competitive advantage. For example, for the IP, is uh, the price elasticity, growth, uh, GDP growth, and other. Well, for the stability position, it is about the expected impact of changes in the core external factor. The core is uh, the changes in the core external factor, for example, for the in terms of technology, economy, and other. Uh, this is uh, how we uh, create the uh, space metric. The first step is we need to set the variable, which is um, financial position, stability position, competitive position, and also industry position. First step is we just uh, set the variable, what should be put. And then the second step is we should rate the system, uh, the rating system, in the rating system. So in every dimension, we need to rate things um, to each uh, to what most uh, important. Uh, for example, in case of competitive position and also uh, stability position, we need to range uh, between negative three, which is worst, until to negative one, which is the best. Uh, and then for the financial position and also industry position, we need to uh, rate among six, positive six until positive 
one which is uh, sin is the bad and one is the worst. Uh, for the third step, we need to find the average for every dimension. And then the fourth stage, we need to plot the value. Um, we need to plot the value which we get the amount from the third stage. And then um, for the S and this, we need to plot for the CP and also the IP on S and this. And while on the Y and this, we plot for the FC and also financial position FP. And then the last step, we need to find the intercept uh, of Y and this and S and this. Uh, this is the intercept and then we put it uh, on the value and then we need to draw a line to show which um, which um, which quadrant that our company chose. In case of we can show that uh, the crop company uh, they is more to the aggressive quadrant which is uh, their, com uh, their company has a very strong financial uh, and then they can they they, they may achieve uh, the majority competitive advantage in growing and the stable industry. Okay, next, post post the final stages, which is the decision stage. So in decision stage, it's quite in, uh, comprehensive as we didn't um, comes up with the key and external factors from the um, opportunities outside, but we comes up from the uh, first and the second stage. So, uh, as we can um, hear from the previous uh, presenter, we already know about what uh, are the process and implementation of EFE e metric, um, IFE, as well as space, BCG, IE, grand strategy metrics, and so on and so forth. So, in um, stage number three, the decision stage, we are focusing on QSPM, whereby QSPM is focusing on high-level strategic management approach in order to evaluate the possible strategies that we have in order to anchor our projects. So in Crux, um, QSPM provides an analytical method in order to compare the feasible alternative factors. So how uh, to construct uh, the QSPM is, uh, number one, we go for the strategic management methods which provide us with the key strategic factors. So based on their analysis, we formulate the possible strategies in stage 2. So now, the task is to compare whether QSPM alternative strategy and um, decide which one is the most suitable for our goals. So the stage 2 uh, strategic tools, which we have a grand strategy metric and so on and so forth, it provides the needed information for setting the, the quantitative strategy planning metric as I explained earlier. And QSPM uh, method allows us to evaluate alternative strategies objectively. So without prior notice, let's move on to sample of the uh, QSPM. For example, from the very left side, we have the opportunities. So here we will um, abstract and extract uh, what are the key external factors we have. So, uh, number one, for example, in opportunities, we have many consumers do not have the income to buy more expensive shoes. So, we will put the weightage. So, weightage is the same from what we have from the opportunities um, analysis that we uh, done before. So, um, after we calculated all the weightage and extract all the weightage, we will um, set the AS. AS stand for... AS, AS uh, stand for attractiveness score. So moving on to the table. Okay. So AS, we uh, in conducting the QSPM, we need to clarify whether we want to uh, put uh, the uh, indicator from 1, 2, 3 and 4, which one is more um, likely to um, give merits to our uh, project. So in Crocs, for example, nurses and other uh, healthcare professionals enjoy making Crocs the standard shoe for their, uh, for their working environment. So uh, Crocs uh, feels like this is the most um, major indicator in order for them to expand the current line of product by 30% annually. So that's why they put 4% uh, for uh, aggregate here. So for zero, no external uh, organization means that uh, they found nothing from there. 
So after that, we will calculate all this one. Next, next, next. And we will um, provide with the totals. Um, 2.51 to expand 30% annually. And 3.12 to... To increase the development of new products by 30% annually. So from this QSPM matrix, um, crops uh, feels like crops feels like uh, to expand new products in 30% annually is more beneficial in expanding the current line by 30% annually. So that's why we comes up with QSPM. So that uh, the executive will comes up with an expert techniques or whether to expand the product in line or product, uh, product uh, stage and really 80%. So that's all. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next we have continue with a suggestion for this uh, Crocs company incorporation. incorporation. Uh, first suggestion is uh, Crocs need to develop three new lines of shoe design for nurse at a lower cost. This is because Crocs uh, has uh, made uh, shoes especially for a uh, healthcare industry and uh, they, uh, they provide a uh, 25% discount for the uh, for shoes for nurses uh, when uh, in order and when they have uh, dealing with American Association uh, nurses. Second, uh, crops need to expand production in Asia by 100% over the next following years in order to gain more expenses and to uh, increase production. Third, um, crops need to continue increase new shoe design offer other than the traditional clock type of shoe. This is to uh, ensure the design of um, a crop shoe is developed. Uh, is uh, developed in new product. For uh, crops need to advertise and make a huge marketing campaign about crop cross light. Uh, that there is no harmful um, component and materials contained in the materials of cross light uh, and in order to educate consumers. Fifth, um, crops need to take a legal action against crop of imitation shoes, especially against firms that uh, produce nearly identical uh, looking and design with uh, crops shoes. Lastly, uh, crocs need to follow the lead of Nike and Dickers as first mover advantage strategy as this was proven by um, Samsung that made as a uh, first mover advantage strategy of Apple um, in on the diversification into accessory items, expansion into other countries and development of new products. Okay, finally, uh, for the conclusion, uh, Crocs is one of the world leaders in casual footwear and apparel for all kinds of clothes, whether uh, for men, women, and children. Uh, even with the awkward, uh, clumsy look and design of the Crocs, shoe is opposite with the unbelievable comfort sense. Uh, then, Crocs uh, need to manufacture its products by following through the trend and fashion. That influence on culture and also prioritize in terms of safety and health on the shoe design and styles. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.